This is discussion worthy. I told y'all I'm sticking to my word. I just don't understand how, like, bitch, I am not Nicki Minaj. I'm here to clear the rumors up. I will never understand bitches that are like, I'm okay with not telling my side of the story. I need to, I need to, <laughs> why? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? And I feel like a lot of people are always like, oh my God, Annabelle, like you do not care what anybody thinks. I feel like this video is, is proving you wrong because I must. I mean, <laughs> like, hold on, I gotta set y'all up on something more stable. And it's not like I give a fuck, but also, I don't know. It's not that I give a fuck what you think about me, but if you're gonna think about me, at least let it be true. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I just don't like people thinking stuff about me that isn't true. Because I feel like I'm a very honest and open person. There's enough to bully me about if that's your intention. So I just don't understand needing extra rumors that aren't true. You know, maybe. All I know is, bitch, Oh my god, and then people will be like, well, if you're not lying, why are you getting so defensive? I feel like we've had a talk about this before, too. It's just like, because... <laughs> I don't get the way other people think. Because you're not gonna lie on me? Why if... I don't know. I don't know. Like, people say, why do you get defensive if it's not true? Okay, let's say somebody called you a pedophile. Are you... So you're not gonna clear the rumors up? I mean, like, you're going to clear the rumors up because that's insane because you wouldn't want somebody saying some crazy shit about you that isn't true. So I'm assuming you would want to clear the rumors up. You know what I'm saying? I guess it doesn't have to be as serious as that, but I don't know. I'm trying to think of some examples, but I can't off the top of my head. That's just, that's just the biggest thing. Like, if somebody said some fucked up crazy shit about you. If somebody said you killed their fucking dog. You're just gonna let, you're just gonna, oh no. I don't care what your version of me is. <laughs> Not me, bitch. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna clear the rumors up. Like, that's just so crazy to let people say. Like, you get disrespected. That's the thing is, I don't give a fuck. Like, you let anybody talk to you however the fuck they want to. You let people walk all over you because me... I'm not gonna sit here and be quiet while motherfuckers got some shit to say about me. I'm gonna speak up for myself. If you don't speak up for yourself, you let yourself get disrespected. Therefore, you're a pussy ass bitch. Therefore, if your view is, I don't have to clear the rumors up, you are weird to me. You are weird to me. You are weird to me because you let people walk all over you. That's what it is. There we go. I figured it out. I get it. You have low self-esteem or something. <laughs> or or you have really high self-esteem. Like, there's no in between, I guess. I don't really know, but that's just not normal to me. If people have something to say about me, like at least be correct. I don't care if you talk badly about me. I don't give a fuck. Not everyone is going to like me. Not everyone is going to like you. That's normal. I don't give a fuck. But don't sit here and not like me under false pretenses or something, you know? And that's why you should also form your own opinion on people, for one. But also, if multiple people are saying the same thing about somebody, it's probably fucking true. And I guess I'm just kind of rambling at a camera, but I, I, it, there's, I'm making valid points here. <laughs> Not sure which ones, which, what I said that would fall under that category, but, um, I don't know. <laughs> but what I do know, dude, this thing gets caught in my teeth. Or now I don't want to do it, but I don't know. I was just sitting here thinking, I just saw a post. Talking about something like, I don't care what your version of me is or some shit. 
I do. <laughs> I'll keep it real. For, I'll keep it real for the cameras, bitch. I do. You ain't finna be spreading lies about me, bitch. Like, bro, tell me why. My fucking ex is telling everybody that our child, a human child, died. I um <laughs> I've never been with child. <laughs> so I'm a little confused on why he's telling everybody that our cats, kitten cat that got ran over it, well by my current boyfriend's mom. She ran our cat over. It was an accident. But then we had to put the cat down and it was a really awkward situation because I was with my current man and my ex and then my ex was like trying to kiss on me and he like trying to fuck me over her grave which was like really weird. I did not participate but I, I'm sorry it's so funny because like he's a psychopath. <laughs> what? Like okay and then he's telling everybody that we had a kid. It's not a kid. It's a fucking cat and I'm here to clear the rumors up. <laughs> I bitch, I've never been with child. Why are you telling everybody that we had a kid? Don't do that. I don't, don't do that. I don't like that. Don't tell any, don't, I'm here to clear the rumors up, bitch. I've, I've never been with child. And if I have been, it came out as a motherfucking blood clot from my period, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. I've had, I've had a, a man. <laughs> We're not here to talk about my blood clots. <laughs> okay okay bitch and if you're on birth control make sure you go to your doctor regularly to make sure that you don't have a blood clot but um yeah yeah the cat the kid don't tell people we had a child it was a cat and i just feel like i brought it up so i have to talk about it why did he try to fuck me on top of her grave like, and here's the thing is like, we buried our cat illegally. <laughs> I feel like, mm, hypothetically, we, we may or may not have, I mean, you don't, I can be a fucking liar. You don't know if I'm telling the truth. You don't know me. You don't know anything. Hypothetically, we may or may not have buried a cat illegally. I don't know if it's illegal. I just feel like if it was a person, you can't just bury anybody anywhere, <laughs> you know? I don't feel like you can, I mean, it was public property, I think. I don't think it is anymore. I think they built stuff over it. I swear to God, bitch. <laughs> so it's across the street from a beach in Milwaukee. So it's Milwaukee, who gives a fuck? They ain't gonna do shit. You're gonna come after me? You're gonna come after me? Milwaukee County? Okay, bitch. <laughs> Bye. Anyways, it's across the street from a fucking beach. <laughs> and so we walk up to the motherfucking thing, to like the grass, walk into the trees with some shovels, bear I swear to God, drop the box in. And that's also when I buried my dead mom's necklace with my dead cat because my ex said he's going to cheat on me with another girl take my mom's necklace, put it in another girl's pussy, fuck her with it inside of her, take it out, piss on it, and burn it. So I had to bury it with my dead cat so he could never do shit to it. So yeah, don't tell people we had a kid. It was a cat. Because if that was a kid and you tell that story one more time, that is so fucking illegal, wrong, weird. And why did he try to fuck me after we buried her? I'm No, I'm going to keep bringing this up because I'm still stuck on this, like, he's, like, trying to kiss me and shit. And I'm, like, <laughs> no, boo-boo. What's really going on? And then we get to the car. And I'm in the car with my man, my new man, who's my, my man. <laughs> he was my new man, but he's not my new man. He's four years ago. So I get in the car with my man, and then my ex is at the fucking window, and he's like, tell me you love me, tell me you love me, give me a kiss. So I had to kiss my ex, I swear to God, I, because what am I going to do? He wasn't letting us leave, <laughs> like, he's crazy. <laughs> so I kissed him. <laughs> in front of my Yes! And my man, I don't know, I think he was a little upset. 
Bitch, we just started dating and your ex just convinced me I had AIDS two weeks ago. I think, I think, um, karma. <laughs> Anyways, don't tell people we had a kid. It was a fucking cat. I'm here to clear the rumors up. Don't talk about me if it's not correct. If you want to talk about me, that's fine. Talk as much shit as you want about me. I don't give a fuck. As long as it's correct. At least let it be true. Don't spread rumors about me. I don't like that. And now that I'm telling you that, you're going to do that. But you forgot one thing. I keep everything. Screenshots, pictures, period blood. That's true, actually. I, re I have a jar in my backpack. I keep everything, bitch. I record everything. Try me if you want to. I got the receipts. You don't. You ain't got, what's it? Bring your receipts. If you're gonna spread a rumor about me, bring the receipts. Bring the receipts. That's it, that's all, that's all I gotta say. And if you're a bitch that, that doesn't care about other people spreading rumors about you, you let anybody disrespect you. Boss up and sauce up. Speak up for yourself. You're fucking embarrassing to be honest. Like, you're just gonna let anybody say anything about you? What if they said you ate a dog? What if they said you put your pinky in a cat's ass? <laughs> I'm trying to think of as much fucked up shit as I can. I'm kind of going too far with it. But you know what I'm saying? What if somebody said some really fucked up shit about you? You're not going to clear the rumors up. I'm still stuck on that. Like, yes, you are. Stop acting like you're better than everybody else. Stop letting people disrespect you. Speak up for yourself. Don't let people say that you put your finger in a cat's ass. Mackenzie Mutz. Oh no, that was a colored pencil. My bad. She also fucked her stepdad. <laughs> if we're talking about people, let's tell the truth. <laughs> she fucked her stepdad for some pizza. See, now she can't be mad at me for talking shit about her. It's fucking true. She fucked her dad. Her, no, no, no. Her stepdad, sorry. Let me put some respect on it. It's her stepdad, her mother's boyfriend. She fucked her mother's boyfriend for pizza. That's fine. It's true. She don't have to clear the rumors up. We all know about it. I feel like I've given perfect examples. Don't put colored pencils in cats' asses. Fucking weirdo. And don't fuck your stepdad. If you're going to, at least fuck him for money. I mean pizza. Pizza is crazy. At least get some money. I'll talk to y'all later.